I'm Matt. You may have seen me do YouTube videos with Felix Index, the current Rubik's Cube world record holder. I'm in Melbourne with Robin because we're doing the Cosmic Shambles live show. And we thought we'd uh, give Robin a crash course in the Rubik's Cube. I never had the tenacity to do these things. I was saying to Felix before we started filming this that you know they are of my generation. I I would have been ten when they came out, and I really did. I could do one side, and sometimes I could do two sides. And what I could definitely do was prize all the bits off this with is the it. end of a spoon. Yeah, yeah. Although uh, prizing the bits off is a step up from taking the stickers off. We will accept that. Okay. So you look at that at 30 seconds, yeah? Is that generally the thing? Uh, I know I know comp it up competitions, yet. you get up to 15 seconds of inspection time. Right. Uh, but with practicalities, that comes around 12 seconds maximum. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh, just, you just, would have, just how many different ways different churches would have made sure that you were burnt. It's a wonderful thing to see. Because I, I don't understand, I was talking about the opposite with that, I, I, your mind. No. Is, no, 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 I know we've all got, but through culture, some of us have not got the tenacity. Uh, I think I'm not, anyone can learn how to solve it with a bit of patience and practice. Yeah, exactly. Hey, two year olds, three year olds can learn how to solve it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right, and rubbish of practice and uses of patience. Because you started when you were 12? 12. 12. Started high school, yeah. Right. But you'd previously played with the Rubik's Cube yeah. and gone, and oh well, again, and then put it, and then walked away from it. Exactly. Yeah. So I learned how to do it from a tutorial on YouTube. And what was it, you know, when, when, when was the first time, when you first did it, how long did it take? Uh, it took me about an hour or two along with the tutorial. And after you've done that, at what speed, if, if I mean, Matt would be the one who would draw the graph, I presume. I would but plot this. The, yeah, the, 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 the point at which you then go, that very quickly gets cut down to minutes, and then that gets cut down to seconds. I mean, what, what kind of speed is that? So I, I think within a couple of weeks, maybe I did it in around a minute, and then within four months or so, it's down to around 20 seconds. And then within 18 months, maybe 10 seconds. Then the last eight years, I've got from 10 to six and a half. So about half a second a year. That's uh, exceptional. Again, again, okay, okay, have as much. Yeah. I have to watch. This is. Uh you're watching competitions, you've got to put it down and put your hands back on a timing mat. Yes. So out of muscle memory reasons, he does that stuff. So Spectacular. Do you like the film Hellraiser? Hellraiser, yes. <laughs> oh, do you know the film Hellraiser? No, no. Oh, Hellraiser has a secret box, uh, and it has a, a puzzle cube. Not, not, not like that. You know, one of the, one of those very old. Uh, century with the, the, the puzzle cubes really big in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the mysterious. What, like, about like the same time as they used to have those incredible clockwork. Uh, yeah, Sam. Planet, um, solar system. Sam Lloyd did like the proper puzzle style ones, if I remember correctly. But that was late Victorian. They were doing. Overly elaborate boxes, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. Razor. It's a wonderful. Razor. It's uh, based yeah. on a Clive Barker uh, short story. Uh, bad things happen. Um, right. What am I going to do then? Am I going to learn how to do one? Right. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to do, do a single side? I right. don't want to. So I'll, I'll mix it up. I'll mix it up. By the way, uh, the rate at which Felix improved is ridiculous. So I reckon most people a month you'd be doing it in under five minutes. Is is an achievable? You look, you, you look deeply underwhelmed. Some people improve faster. That's true, that's very true. I would say anyone in a month could do it in under 15 minutes. Oh, he's... There you go. Oh, that's true, you spotted the bit that was... Oh, he's off. Um, <laughs> do you want to give some hints? Do you want to... Well, what's your, what's your initial strategy? You see, I haven't held one of these literally since... Uh, uh, this will be about four decades or more. Yeah, Armageddon. As old as the, uh... That was another film with the Rubik's Cube in it. Oh, I never saw that one. Yeah. You're not missing out on a whole lot. It's a classic. We have to show someone smart so they have a shot of them solving a Rubik's Cube. Oh, cool. And they get um, Steve Buscemi's character solves the Rubik's Cube to show how smart he is. But this is, that's not. Oh, this is delicious. This is funny. It's, it's the level of shame that I feel when I do this. See, that's, that's why... Um, it's, it's... What I find interesting is very few people pick it up and work it out themselves from scratch. 
Yeah, that's that's yeah. really impressive. That, that, if you can do it yourself without looking up the instructions. I know, yeah, very few people that, that have done that. But. So I can remember how to do one. Nice. Look at that. But then that the moment, is... this is where my brain, where your tenacity and your concentrate because my frustration, I mean, no, everything I, kicks in so quickly. Just, I just learned uh, a method of how to solve it, like beyond something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. so when I was 12, I was, I guess, not cheating, but cheating in the sense that I didn't figure the whole thing out by myself because obviously something like that is pretty difficult for a 12 year old. Um, but if you can get that far, that's I mean, that's yeah. the most people. Sure. So do most people not, they, most people don't get to even the first bit? Probably not. So that means they even, so it turns out I'm just average even in my frustration that in fact I have the... Uh, you didn't realise you were above average at doing it and you were still frustrated. No, that one I wasn't frustrated, but I'm immediately frustrated looking at the orange and knowing that to get blue and orange is not yeah, going to happen. Yeah. But what worries me is that now you've shown me this, uh, and I realise this whole thing has just been a little bit of hustling and huckstering, is are we going to buy one then? Well, hey, because I've, I've got, always I've got, got one on me. Yeah. You need one, yeah. it's a classic. But it's an intro, I just find it, I, I find it intriguing that there are certain things that I've, I, I love doing my son's maths homework now. Because it just reminds me, and then you have that moment of going, how did I forget that? Or, yeah. And so that to me is like the next stage of... Ah, that must be ingrained deep, that you've you got a face. Yeah, because the next step up is you've got that face. Yeah. If you look on the sides here, these colours don't match. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's the next step up is to get a face, but to also get those... Oh, so the best next way is not to think about getting another side, it's to yeah. think about the light right. Yeah, you think yeah. about layers. So most people, when they start out, would think about it in terms of like six sides. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's really a combination of three layers. So the bottom layer, the middle layer, and the top layer. Right. So, so you, you've got the side, but it's all messed up around the middle. Right? Yeah. Ar around the side there. Uh, so now it's all smooth around the side. So all these pieces are in their correct positions. Yeah. So that's what you need to aim for at the start. You were within two seconds of getting that right, it turns out. That's, <laughs> that's the great thing. We always know that we were only two seconds away as long as you're sitting Within the reach. <laughs> and a lot of people do it that, like, they'll have a slightly nostalgic, oh, I enjoy doing that at school, or I enjoyed when it all was right and it all lined up. But then you don't get many opportunities afterwards, other than maybe like Sudoku or something, to do that in normal life. It's going to be the new Sudoku. That must be wearing thin there, isn't it? People have tried all sorts of other variations. Uh, none of them have caught on the same way. It had that perfect balance of the, simplicity but challenge. The Ken Ken. Oh, that's true. That? That's I like that one. Oh, which one's but that? Ken Ken is, uh, I think it can be adapted to like form of any sort of grid, but you basically have little boxes in, in, within a grid. The basic premise is you need to get, like Sudoku, all the different numbers in rows and columns. And then within the grid itself, there are like, it says like 12x. So you need to put, if, there's, if it's a 6 by 6 grid, you need to put two numbers in there that multiply to 12. So it can be either a 6 and a 2 or a 3 and a 4. And you need to do that with all the little boxes inside the big 6 by 6 grid and make sure that you have each uh, number in each column and each row. It's a bit closer to a crossword with the mathematical constraints within different sections. Yeah. Yeah, last like time that. on Twitter, I'm going to More. sacrifice five minutes of Twitter spats. <laughs> per day, yeah. Day. Be sure to check out Matt's YouTube channel, Stand Up Maths, for his big interview with Felix about setting the world record and all things Rubik's, as well as what happened when Matt decided to enter the UK Rubik's Cube Championships. And you can follow all Felix's adventures on his channel, Faz Rules One.